NG Tube 501 or How to Make This Tube Really Suck. A tutorial video by Stephen Cunningham, co-director of pancreatic and hepatobiliary surgery at St. Agnes Hospital Center in Baltimore, Maryland. This is a diagram of a stomach with a nasogastric tube inserted. Notice the two different tubes and the holes within each tube. The blue tube represents the sumping tube and the black tube represents the tube that drains the fluid. During normal function, which is unfortunately atypical, suction applied to the suction tube allows for gastric contents to be aspirated or suctioned from the stomach until the stomach is empty. When the stomach is empty, air may be aspirated in through the sumping port and back out the suction port. This may result in the appearance of a whistle created by air being sucked in through the sumping port. Such a whistle ensures that the sumping action is occurring. But what usually happens is the stomach mucosa or lining of the stomach gets sucked onto the holes of the tube allowing the stomach to fill back up and putting the patient at risk for aspiration. Intermittent suction helps prevent this by releasing the stomach mucosa temporarily so that the stomach may empty again until the stomach is empty. However, intermittent suction is not sufficient. Flushing the NG tube with air and water pushes the mucosa away from the holes so that the stomach can empty again. How do you know if the stomach is empty or full if you can't see the mucosa? In other words, if fluid stops coming out of the NG tube, is it because the stomach is empty, as we would like, or because the mucosa has plugged the holes? Option one, an empty stomach, is of course our goal to prevent vomiting and aspiration in a patient whose stomach is not emptying on its own, either because of a gastric outlet obstruction or because of a small bowel obstruction. Option two, of course, is bad and puts the patient at risk for vomiting and aspiration. The answer is in the air, namely, what happens when you inject it. Let's take a look at what happens when we inject air into the NG tube. In option one, air injected into the sumping port of the NG tube travels down the tube into the lumen of the stomach and then is suctioned back out the suction port where it is seen in the suction tubing going to the wall. In option two, this cannot happen. Why? Because when air is injected in the sumping port of an NG tube, which is within a full stomach, the air simply bubbles to the top of the pool in the stomach and is therefore, of course, not seen in the external tubing. So in summary, Air injected in the blue port must be seen circulating out the suction tubing to be sure the stomach is empty. If air injected in the blue port is not seen circulating out the suction port, you should be concerned that the stomach may not be empty and the patient may be at risk.